I think that's about enough for today. Time we were finishing. Nurse Rutherford, I hope you're going to be able to read those notes you've been making so carefully. This sort of thing is very valuable, you know, once you get on the ward. Nurse Wilson, see that all the lights are turned off and the room is left tidy. See you all tomorrow. Bye. 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 What did she mean about notes? Should we have made them? She was being sarcastic. I was doodling. What are you going to do now? Well, I thought I might go and spend an hour or so in the library. Look up some of those things she was talking about this afternoon. Why well, don't you come? No, thanks. I've had quite enough of all that for today. Let's go out somewhere. Well... Oh, I know. We went up yesterday and you must study. Go on, then. Maybe I'll go on my own. It's just that my money's going to last me till the end of the week. It's all right. <laughs> go off to your books. Okay, then. I expect so. <laughs> Nurse Rutherford, do you come and do this patient's TPR, please? Temperature, pulse and respiration. Oh, yes. Got everything you need. Thermometer, watch. What are you going to do when you've taken it? Well, you'll want to write it down, girl, won't you? And where will you write it down? In the temperature book. Right. Carry on. Just a minute. Hold it like that. But isn't there something you should do to it first? Oh, dry it. Right. Go on. Unless, Regan, uh, get her some cotton wool, will you? Yes, that's very good. I think someone else can take a turn now. Uh, Miss Wilson. Just a minute. Have you read the thermometer? Yes. What does it say? Normal. Which is? 37. So, what should you do? Shake it down. Where to? Um... Tell her, somebody. Below 35. All right, nurse. Difficult to start with, but you'll soon get the knack. The mercury has a little wiggle in it, which prevents it from slipping down. That's why you have to shake it. It won't go down any other way. Now, who can tell me why it has to be so low? Yes? Because it will only register temperatures that are higher than the point it starts from. Good. Sometimes we need to know if a patient has a very low temperature. So we have to be sure we're getting an accurate reading by starting it off as low as possible. Wait a minute. Before taking a patient's temperature by mouth, what are the things you should check? Um, that they're not asleep? <laughs> Yes, well, it would be rather difficult if they were. It wasn't actually one of the things I had in mind. You haven't been attending, have you, nurse? I'm surprised at you. You're an intelligent girl. How do you intend to carry out your nursing duties if you haven't the faintest idea how to do them? Very foolish, you know. This careless attitude will never make you into a nurse if that is what you really want. If I were you, I'd pull my socks up and pay attention. Make a bit of an effort. I told you not to wear rings the first day of these classes. Let's have somebody who has been listening. Nurse Regan, you stay there, Rutherford, and watch how it's done. Now then, who can tell me what are the contraindications to taking the temperature by mouth? After a hot if drink. It's a baby. Yes. If they've got a cold. Sit down. Thanks. I do like your bedspread. Wish my room was as cosy. Well, get a few posters. Did you get your letter from home yet? Oh, never mind. It'll come soon. Oh, I wish I had something to eat. I'm starving. We've only just had lunch. It's boredom. I'm bored to death. Are you? Aren't you? No, not at all. Mm, I thought we'd be busy. You could be busy. You never study. I do enough, but that's boring too. 
Oh, I know it'll be all right once we get on the wards. It's just hanging about while a nursing tutor plays God that gets me. What do you mean? Well, like this morning. She never loses an opportunity to prove that she's got power over us. I mean, she never tells us what she wants us to do. She just expects us to read her mind. Anyway, why can't they teach us all that stupid stuff on the wards with real people? Then it might actually mean something. I bet you could learn it all in about a week instead of twelve. Could you do that? I mean, do you think you could go on the ward now? Tomorrow, if they asked you to? Well, why not? I couldn't. I'd be scared to death. Well, that's ridiculous. You're very good at all those procedures and stuff. You'd get on fine. What about all the things we haven't done yet? Like injections. What if they told me to give an injection? Well, they wouldn't. It's not till they'd shown you how. On a person? Well, maybe not the first time. But it's ridiculous to say that injecting an orange is anything like injecting a person. I'm sure it's quite different. You know, the only way to learn is by doing the real thing. I mean, after all, who cares about hurting an orange? But I'd hate it if I had a whole lot of student nurses practicing on me. Wouldn't you? But it happens all the time. What do you think's been going on in the wards now with a set ahead of us? They're practicing all the things they learnt in the lecture room, only I bet they're finding they haven't learnt anything and might just as well have started in the ward straight away. I don't know. I know if I'd had to start in the ward straight away when I came, I wouldn't have known what to do. I'd have been terrified. You underestimate yourself. No, I don't. I know what I can do. And for someone like me, well, I need the classes. It's no use wishing we can be qualified straight away. Nurses have got to be trained. Yeah. That's right, when there's people's lives at stake. Oh, Maureen, you are funny. Why? Well, because you believe everything they tell you. It never occurs to you they might be building the whole thing up in order to protect themselves. What? Well, they like to believe they're important, so they make you believe it too. That way it comes true. I don't understand you. I thought you wanted to be a nurse. But the way you talk, it sounds as though you despise them. It's not the nursing I despise, it's... The system, the hierarchy, the petty rules and regulations, their attitude that your whole life belongs to them. Come in. I'm nearly ready. Oh, what is it this morning? Practical nursing. Oh, that's better than anatomy anyway. Oh, I do hope she asked me to be the patient. I could do with a bit longer in bed. <laughs> now, have I got everything? Oh. I got my letter. From Emmy. Everything's fine. Oh. Oh, good. So you feel better now? Yes. I just told you there was nothing to worry about. Come on. Whoops. Oh, I'd better. Just to humour the old bag. Oof. No, there. This is the patient. She isn't allowed out of bed. She wants her hair washed. Who's going to do it for her? Any volunteers? I will. Ah. Nurse Rutherford. Right then. She's all yours. Right. Better watch out. I'll probably drench you. <laughs> How are you going to do it? Well, I'll pull the mattress back. Do you want anyone to help you? I wouldn't mind, actually. Um, Nurse Wilkinson. I assume you've told the patient what you're about to do to her. Oh, yes, Jenny, you know we're going to do this. Don't you? <laughs> Try and remember when you're on the ward, or the patient will think you're mad if she asks you to wash her hair and you start attacking her feet. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Mm. Oh, could Jenny. Couldn't she go on a diet? <laughs> a little further. Oh. Yes, try and remember she's a patient. Right. Oh. You'll be doing this with much larger ladies than Nurse Sorel. Now, let's see. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Oh. Gently. <laughs> no, no, you mustn't help them, Nurse Sorel. No cheating. Let's see the plastic sheet right over this area. If the pillows and mattress get wet, we not only have to replace them, we have to completely remake the bed. Towel. Good. 
Here we are. Now, Mrs. Bloggs, we just lift you up over the pillows. Uh, get your arm right under there. That's it. Put okay. your hand under her head so I can lift the water. Good. Right. Here goes. Now, for the purpose of this exercise, just use the minimum of shampoo, nurse. Right. Good. And uh, take your time. Now, how are we doing over here? I don't mind oh, things no, like this. Oh, this corner is not very good. Try that one again. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's better. The other side, is that? Mm -hmm. Not too much now. Yes, be careful not to get it in her eyes. <laughs> Right. Lovely. Funny. Not One of those things that's much harder than you think, nurse, isn't it? Oh, yes. Mm. Doing it on your own can be very difficult indeed, as you can imagine. Though it can be done. Nurse Sorrell's hair is quite clean. I think she'll only need one shampoo. The secret of all these relatively simple procedures is common sense, sense, concentration. Never fall into the trap of thinking something is easy. Everything in nursing demands your full attention at all times. That's it. Yeah. Ooh. Good. Get you up. There we are, madam. Set all blow dry. <laughs> Nurse Monaghan, get the hair dryer, will you? Okay. Are you starting it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was extremely well done, Nurse. I'm glad you've decided to enjoy yourself. Good girl about the rings. Thank you. Now, I think somebody else can take a turn while Nurse Sorrell has her set. Nurse Regan. 